In this video, we're going to show you how to connect your Onefinity CNC machine to your network. We will be using the Onefinity controller, our Wi-Fi router, and in some instances, a Wi-Fi range extender. The most stable connection for your Onefinity CNC in the network is through an Ethernet cable. You'll plug one end into the Ethernet port on the back of your controller, and the other end of the cable will plug into one of the Ethernet out ports on the back of your router. To connect to the controller wirelessly, we'll need to know a few things about our wireless network. It's important to note that the Onefinity CNC requires a 2.4 GHz connection. It will not connect to a 5 GHz network. The first thing we need to know when setting up our Onefinity through a wireless network is the SSID. This is what's commonly referred to as your network name. Every router's SSID is different and you'll need to know that SSID prior to hooking it up to the Onefinity. For example, our Asus router came with the default name Asus 2.4, but we've renamed it to SHOP. Generally, the SSID and the network password will be located on a sticker on the back or the bottom of your router. One thing that's important when setting up your CNC with a wireless network is the proximity to the router. Because of the small antenna of the Raspberry Pi inside of the Onefinity CNC controller and its metal casing, you generally want your router in the same room as your CNC. However, since most people set their CNC up in a shop, you may need a Wi-Fi range extender. What a Wi-Fi range extender does is takes a signal from the router into the extender and pushes it back out at an amplified strength to the controller. This allows us to use our CNC at a greater distance from the router with stability. If you're having trouble connecting your CNC to the wireless network or having problems with the strength of your signal, we highly recommend investing in a Wi-Fi range extender. We will now use the tablet to connect to our wireless network. To set up our wireless network on the touch screen, we'll click the flyout menu, go down to network. Under Wi-Fi setup, we will change the mode from disabled to client, and this is where you'll need to know your network SSID or your network name. In our case, it is shop, so we'll type that in. And right below that, we will enter our password. We'll press enter and click set. It will ask us if we want to configure with Wi-Fi reboot. We'll click OK, and the controller will restart. Upon a successful connection and reboot, you will see your IP address at the top of the screen right below Onefinity. Your IP address is just the number. It does not include the name of your network. Now that we've successfully connected to our wireless network, we can see our IP address on our touch screen and can now go to our computer and control it remotely. On our computer, we'll open up any internet browser. In our case, we're using Microsoft Edge. Proceed to the address bar at the very top of your screen and input the IP address only containing numbers and periods that you see on the top of your touch screen. In our case, the IP address is 192.168.1.20. Generally, IP addresses begin with 192.168.1. We'll press enter, and this will bring us to our Onefinity controller. Now you are able to jog your machine and control it remotely. Congratulations, you've successfully connected your Onefinity CNC remotely. If for some reason it did not connect to your wireless network after rebooting, here are some helpful tips. One, turn your controller off and then back on. Two. You may have misspelled your SSID network name or password, so double check that. 3. Unplug your Wi-Fi router, wait 3 minutes, and then reconnect the power supply, again waiting 3 minutes, and try these steps again. And 4. Your signal may not be strong enough. You may need to move your router and your CNC closer together, or purchase a Wi-Fi range extender to improve your connection. And 5. If none of these things work, try plugging it in with an Ethernet cable to see if you can get a successful connection.